Hey everybody, so what we're gonna go ahead and do today is build the box for our standalone undermount dishwasher. Nobody for some reason makes cabinets, or if they do, we couldn't find any, um, that just are for the dishwasher slide under, unless it's in like the, the whole range of cabinets, like where your sink is and everything. Um, Unless it was sliding underneath that, there was no such thing as a standalone dishwasher that wasn't portable. So we had to go ahead and build a box for it next to our refrigerator. Sorry, I keep feeling I'm going to sneeze. We had to build a box for it next to our refrigerator to house our undermount uh, dishwasher, but still made it match everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pieces. So these are going to be the sides. They are the same white. They look really bright in here, but they are the same white that are the cabinets. Hi, Gabby. Thank you for joining. They're the same white as the cabinets. And then this is the top piece that I sanded and polyed in the last couple videos you saw. So we're going to go ahead and start assembling it. We are going to be using L brackets and some screws. Um, so you're going to go ahead and watch that now. Okay, so the hardware we're going to use, I'm going to go ahead and show you that really quick. We're using wood screws. They're right here. They're itty bitty so that they don't go the whole way through the... Um, the pieces of wood here so that you can't see them. They're just really tiny. We're also using these L brackets. They're like corner braces here. Gabby's very interested. Um, they're just to put the top on so you don't have screws going through everything um, and to secure the back pieces. And then we're also using, I guess, some more of these. I guess Daryl bought some more. So right now we just have two packs of these corner braces, both the same size um, and ready to go. Okay, so we now have it laid out the way that we want to. This is gonna be, if you're looking at the front of the dishwasher, this is the left panel, it's the right panel, and then that's the top. So we have them flipped over like this so that we can drill all the holes and everything um, and not hit the front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the first two brackets we have laid out. So you wanna make them, we're using two to support the top, we think that'll be fine. And you really wanna make sure that it's flush with the top here, so that the top lays flat on it. Um, you don't want it to say like, oops, well yeah, you definitely don't want it like that. But you don't want it to be sticking over the edge a little bit like that or too far back, um, cause otherwise it won't attach the way you want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and put two on this side, two on that side, and we will be right back. Okay, so they are both in there, ready to go, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So we got the brackets on the side pieces, so we're going to go ahead and flip them up and start to screw them down onto the main top bit. Hey everyone, so I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, so we went ahead and we installed our dishwasher, which you're about to see in the video clip next. But for some reason I couldn't get my camera to work. I figured out why, me being stupid. But the rest of the video is all filmed on the iPhone. Um, so I'm sorry for the quality. I'm sorry if it flips like vertical sideways. I'm gonna try to do what I can with the video quality. Um, I just really wanted to make sure this was on video. Um, but I promise that will never happen again and it will always be from this camera. So, all right, well, keep watching. Hey everybody, so what we're working on today is our dishwasher. Um, I'm sorry, this is from my phone camera. My actual camera is dead. I'm not really sure what's happened to it, but it's not working. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just film this off the camera, so I'm really sorry for the quality. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is we have it out of the box, we fixed the feet and everything so it's the right level. We're gonna go down to the basement to connect the water line and the drain line here. And then we're gonna push them up through the hole and we are going to then be ready to go ahead and start installing it properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's going on in the basement. Okay, so I'm really sorry for all the background noise. That's just our furnace running. Um, but Daryl's going to go ahead and install an adapter right now up here. This is the drain. He has a tissue in it for right now just to protect it from getting any other gunk in it. He has an adapter which looks like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to go in so that the, ho the drain hose, which is right here, so that the drain hose can go right in here and then this bit goes into the drain and it's a good seal. Uh, we got rid of all that really gross stuff that you saw before. Let me turn. Meh. Um, there used to be like a big old pipe that's hanging around here. Um, he got rid of that because our new drain hose is plenty long enough to take care of that. I will cover it. Okay, so now that it's in there, he's going to go ahead and put in the drain hose. So go ahead, Daryl. Alright, 
Daryl's currently going to go ahead and tighten up the water line. He just had it attached from, come from down up top, I mean, and then is attaching it with the wrench to tighten. Okay, so what we've gone ahead and done is laid the dishwasher down on its end. We pulled off the top here. This is called the terminal box underneath. Um, yep, like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to install the strain relief. And that is just so that the power cord doesn't get ruined um, whenever they do it. Yep, there we go. Close up. Um, so it just goes in and then you screw that top bit on. Okay, so Daryl's going to go ahead and feed up the power cables through the new um, outlet, I guess. Um, and then he's going to go ahead and connect those and ground it and do everything he's supposed to. Well, just fell down. But he's going to go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so he's doing the ground right now. The way that the instructions say is it's supposed to go with the ground wire, then the washer, and then the little um, screw on top. So he's putting that in. And then he'll go ahead and connect the other two matching power cables and with the right colors with these little, what are they called, wire nuts? Wire nuts. He's going to use these. And they're color coded. And so. they're color coded. So white to white, black to black. Okay, so he went ahead and did the wire nuts, and now he's covering it up. I didn't get to quite show you how it was, but he just um, twists them together, put the wire nuts on, and then folded them kind of around so that they fit nicely within the box. And then he's going to go ahead and put the box back on. Okay, so what we've just done is we put the piece of wood back there, secured it to the wall, and then secured the brackets to the top of this. This is just to make sure that it doesn't move too much. It kind of stays sturdy. Um, Daryl's going to go ahead and add some more at the bottom. But right now he's just sitting in the box, but we'll be right back. Okay, so Daryl's putting on the little compression elbow thingamajigger at the end of the water line. The drain hose is up through. We're going to send the power cable down. Um, we've gone ahead also, if you see like the little piece of wood there and at the top, we've secured it. So now this whole thing, it doesn't move. It's really solid. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this. Sit the dishwasher up because right now it's still laying down. Attach the front bit and we will be almost ready to go. Okay, now this is probably going to be the most um, important part of this video because it's nowhere in that instruction packet and it's really awful. So these bits right here, these are important because what they do is they connect the dishwasher to the cabinet. Without this, when you pull the handle, the whole dishwasher would just slide right out. So we were trying to figure out how these go in. We knew that they attached in here to this little slot, but there was nothing that tells you how to do it. So, we found it, these pieces here. What they do is they go in from the front because initially we thought they went like this and that just was impossible to ha actually have work. So what this does is these slide in with the little tab going to the right. They go in and it locks like that. Then what we do is we push the whole thing under the, under the Ooh, that made noise. Okay, right there. What we do is we push the whole thing underneath the cabinet. Then we open the door. Then we screw this bit into the cabinet to hold it in place, and then we are all set. So that's the important bit that you don't want to forget, but the instruction manual fails to tell you anything about. So we're going to go ahead and Daryl's going to feed up the drain hose. Everything's ready to go. We're going to hook it up to the back of the dishwasher and push it in. Okay, so we're under the dishwasher now. This right here is the water line, and that's the compression elbow that you need to buy specifically for Whirlpool. That blue thing down there, that is what this has to screw into. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that. Daryl's moving this from down the basement. Um, we're gonna have to screw that into the blue bit there, and the drain hose will have to connect, and then we're okay. He's trying to get some more we don't have enough upstairs to like actually reach there and be comfortable so we're gonna go ahead and connect this okay so what he just did is he connected that drain hose to the bit of drain pipe that was underneath there and he just applied that little clamp um, tighten that up those things I hate Daryl hates they're a pain in the butt but they are now hooked up it's all hooked up the way it should be so let's cross our fingers that we can push this out underneath and not have a problem So the dishwasher is in. I'm actually very excited the fact that it fits. I was worried we were going to have some maneuvering to do. So I'm really excited about it. Um, but we're going to go ahead now. We have to finish putting in 
these pieces, whoop, you can't really see them, can you? That right there, we have to screw that up and into the countertop to keep it stable. That's the inside of it there. Ooh, maybe. There you go. And we'll go ahead and we'll show you the next bit. Well, actually, I'm just gonna close it up. Step back. All we have to do is screw in those pieces I just told you about, screw on the handle, and that bottom piece, we just need to put that, that all there. That's um, insulation and then just like the kickboard bit. And then pull plastic off, that's it. Are you excited, Daryl? I'm finally excited. It didn't take that long, it took a little over an hour, but it's done now. Okay, so here's the dishwasher all installed. We've actually installed it, we ran a couple loads just to make sure it's not gonna leak, and it's not, so we are all set to go. It has the handles, matches the refrigerator, and the bottom insulation piece was installed there. We may need to paint the inside pieces of the box. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, it's not really, um, like painted obviously it's just the original wood so we're gonna have to paint that to make it match just depends on how much that actually really annoys me um, but there you go open it up it has clean dishes inside right now fits a lot though um, obviously all of the silverware and stuff goes on here it has the um, place to put the detergent has a place to put the um, rinse aid in it. And also, it actually holds a ton. So I don't know if you can tell here. This is a crock pot. These are two really big mixing bowls. A pan, that's like a eight inch or so. And then this is also a crock pot pan, but it's a casserole dish. Um, so you can tell how much it actually fits in there, which is really, really great. Um, the other really good part, I'll close that in a second. The other really good part is that it is the 51 decibel, so it's the mid-range one, it's not the high or low. However, it doesn't sound like anything when it's running. Um, yes, Gabby, I understand. Um, it's very, very quiet. Actually, the first couple times we ran it, Daryl had to come out and check because he was like, I just need to make sure that it's still on um, because he couldn't tell. Gabby's very upset because she can't come in the kitchen. Um, so... It's very quiet. I will say it does take a little while to actually wash the dishes. Um, it takes around three hours for this load specifically. Um, it was just over three hours. So not the quickest thing, but it is energy efficient. So it's using less energy, less water. So by pushing all that less water around to clean it all out, it does take a little bit longer. However, we are very happy with it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the box. It's all installed up against the wall here. It's a smooth edge, the white box. Back here you can see the piece of wood. This is the support that this is um, mounted to. Um, so there's that piece that you can still see. And there you go. So there's the final overview. Now that it's installed, we're very happy campers. We don't have to manually wash dishes anymore. And it looks great, matches everything, matches our stove with the handle, everything is getting there so we are making progress so we're gonna go ahead and close out this video it's been a long one I know and just go ahead and keep stay tuned we're gonna have more projects coming up thanks mm -hmm.